I'm black every day, but this month right here, I'm blackity black, black, black. You feel me? Blackity black, black, black. Black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blacker than black, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black. What up, my nines? DJ Nana Truth here, back with another video. Yes, the lion is back. Lion! Back with another video. Today, nines, I am back with another my top nine list. Today's top nine is going to be my top nine black love movies. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. Once again, it's Blackity Black 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 on this channel this month, so happy Black History Month. Black Lives Matter. So, gonna be coming at y'all with my top nine black love movies inspired of course by valentine's day so if you haven't seen any of my other top nine videos go ahead check them out playlist gonna pop up up here mad dope got a lot of dope top nine lists already go ahead check them out in this list i'm gonna be starting from the bottom to the top number one is gonna be the best black love movie for me you feel me so i'm also gonna have a couple of honorable mentions before we get into the actual list the honorable mentions are gonna be movies that i have not seen and i definitely need to check out Honorable mention number one goes to Sylvie's Love. Sylvie's Love dropped last year in 2020. Picture is gonna pop up over here. So it's a drama. A brief synopsis of the movie. Once again, I have not seen it, but I'm definitely gonna check it out. So Sylvie has a summer romance with a saxophonist who takes a summer job at her father's record store in Harlem. When they reconnect years later, they discover that their feelings for each other have not faded after all those years. So real brief synopsis on this movie, once again, I haven't seen this movie yet, but I love Tessa Thompson and she's in this movie, so I have to check it out. Looks like a dope black love movie, so I have to check it out. If you haven't seen it, check it out, check it out. Honorable mention number two goes to the photograph picture over here. And it dropped also last year in 2020. It's a drama, so real brief synopsis on this movie. So when a famed photographer, Christina Eames, dies unexpectedly, she leaves her estranged daughter, May, hurt, angry, and full of questions. When May finds a photograph tucked away in a safe deposit box, she soon finds herself delving into her mother's early life. The investigation leads to an unexpected romance with the rising journalist. Have to check it out. Seems like a good black love movie. Pictures is over here once again. I haven't seen it, but it looks dope. I wanna check it out. You should check it out if you haven't seen it. Check it out. So getting into this list, once again, we're gonna start from the bottom to the top. Number one being the best black love movie for me. So. Coming in at number nine. Number nine goes to Carmen, a hip hopper. This movie dropped in 2001. It's a musical drama. A brief synopsis of the movie, just in case you haven't seen it. An engaged Philadelphia policeman, played by Mackay Pfeiffer, falls in love with a beautiful woman, played by Beyonce, while dealing with a corrupt superior, played by Most Def. Dope is dope. I love this movie. They used to play this movie on BT all the time when I was growing up. I love, love, love this movie. Had to include it on the list. It's an amazing, amazing black love movie. If you haven't seen Carmen, a hip hopper, you need to check it out. It's amazing. It's dope. It's everything. Coming in number eight. Number eight goes to Southside with You. Pictures is gonna pop up over here. This movie dropped in 2016 and it is a romance drama. As you can see from the pictures, or if you can't tell and if you didn't know, this movie is about President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. Yes, I'm using it in the first tense. I know that President Biden is the president now, but my president's black. So President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. So this is their love story. So had to include this movie on the list. Brief synopsis on the movie, just in case you haven't heard it and you haven't seen it. I don't know what you're doing if you haven't seen it. The future US President Barack Obama and lawyer Michelle Robinson go on a faithful first date in the summer of 1989. Once again, this story is about Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, President Obama. First Lady, Michelle Obama. My president is black. Black. Uh, yeah, this movie is everything. I've watched this movie a few times. I love this movie. It's just a very good love movie. Like, a very good black love movie. Obviously, Barack and Michelle have just an amazing love. So I'm so happy that they made a movie. Like, about their love story and about how they came to be the amazing people that they are. You feel me? They, they're just everything. I love them. I love the Obamas. I love them. 
I love them. I love them. So once again, had to include this on this list. If you haven't seen this movie, you need to check it out. It is amazing. It is everything. Much love to Barack Obama. Much love to Michelle Obama. Coming in number seven. Number seven goes to Just Right. Pictures over here. This movie dropped in 2010. So it's a romance comedy movie. As you can see, it includes my queen in it. It includes Queen Latifah. I can't help that she's amazing and that she's making it to a lot of my list. And I have these fangirl moments. I can't help it. I can't help it. She's amazing. I have loved Queen Latifah for a long, long, long time. So yeah, I have. she's, she's going to pop up most of the time on every list. It's inevitable. I just, I've come to accept it and I need y'all to too. So once again, this is a romance comedy. It features Queen Latifah and Common and others. Brief synopsis on the movie, just in case you haven't heard it and you haven't seen it. I don't know what you're doing if you haven't seen it. So physical therapist Leslie Wright, played by Queen Latifah, lands the dream job of working with the basketball superstar, Scott McKnight, that is played by Common. All is going well until she finds that she is falling in love with him while he is oblivious and focuses his attention on Morgan, who is played by Paula Patton. Not gonna lie, this love story is one of those unconventional love stories because she is falling in love with him and he's fawning over Paula Patton and one of those situations where Queen Latifah is a, a plush woman and Paula Patton is very skinny. I know it's coming from a skinny person, it sounds weird, but I like what I like, damn it. So yeah, it's one of those type of situations, but yeah, in the end, it doesn't go the way that you think it's gonna go. I'm not gonna tell you. You're gonna have to check out the movie. I have seen this movie a lot of times. I love Queen Latifah. Common is dope. I love Paula Patton. She's an amazing actress. So this is a very good black love movie. If you haven't seen Just Right, you need to check it out. It's mad, mad dope. I love Queen Latifah. She's sexy. <laughs> hey, Queen. Hey, Queen. What's up, Queen? Hey, Queen Latifah. My wife gonna kill me, y'all. Uh, we gonna work on it. We gonna work on it. <laughs> Coming at number six. Number six goes to The Wood. Picture's gonna pop up over here. This movie dropped in 1999. So before you even come at me, I know off rip it doesn't appear to be a black love movie. But for me, I take this as a black love movie. Even though it pretty much follows a bromance for most of the movie, as far as the brotherhood between the main characters of this movie, Ultimately, it is a black love movie because of the ending. So that is why it is on this list because I think it's a black love movie. For me, it pops up when you search black love movie. So whatever, it's a black love movie to me. I think it is because of how things play out in the movie and in the end. Watch it if you haven't seen it to figure out what I'm talking about. But for me, this is a black love movie. So technically it's a coming of age teen movie, but once again, it's a black love movie to me. Brief synopsis of the movie, three old friends, Mike, Roland, and Slim, played by Omar Epps, Tay Diggs, and Richard T. Jones, recount memories of their shared childhood in Inglewood, California, as they prepare for Roland's wedding to his fiance, Lisa, who is played by Lisa Ray. She is amazing. I love her. She's sexy. She's sexy. Oh my God. I love Lisa Ray. So when the groom goes missing without a word, Mike and Slim struggle to find their nervous friend and return him to his impatient bride before the wedding begins. Along the way, they continue to swap stories about lessons they learned during their awkward teenage years. That's kind of why I said it's a black love movie. I mean, the, it's a wedding that happens at the end and also some other stuff in regards to love in this movie. And I mean, you can't take away the bromance that goes down in this movie. Like, doesn't, it's not sexual to have a bromance, you feel me? So the bromance is also black love, I think. I'm including this movie on this list. It's a, it's a black love movie to me. Once again, stuff happens in the movie at the end and towards the end, that's black love. So yeah, if you haven't seen The Wood, you need to check it out. It's an amazing, amazing movie. It has comedy, it has drama, it has love. It's everything, it's dope, check it out. Coming in at number five. Number five goes to Jason's Lyric. Picture is gonna pop up over here. This movie dropped in 1994. It is a romance drama. As you can tell, it includes Jada Pinkett Smith. I love Jada Pinkett Smith. She is an amazing, amazing actress. Not gonna lie though, with the whole entanglement situation, I kind of fell off from her, but I can't take away from the amazing actress that she is and all of the amazing movies that she has been included in and a part of. So big shout out to Jada Pinkett Smith. I love her. She's amazing, amazing. 
And I love her music. Her band, Wicked Wisdom, dope, amazing. I still have the album on my phone. I love her, she's amazing. A brief synopsis on this movie. In a violent, drug-infested neighborhood in Houston, Texas, Jason, who is played by Alan Payne, dreams of something better. He works as a TV salesman and helps out his mother and tries to steer his criminally-minded brother, Joshua, who is played by Bokeem Woodbine. Ooh, I got that right. Bokeem Woodbine. Onto the right path. But real joy enters Jason's life when he meets Lyric, who's played by Jada Pinkett Smith. And as their romance develops, Jason starts to see a future for himself while also being forced to confront a painful secret from his past. This movie is a very deep, deep movie. You don't watch, don't watch this movie with children. Like, it's deep. It, 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 it goes there. Like it says, it's in a violent, drug-infested neighborhood. Yeah, it definitely shows some violence in the movie. But it's a good movie. It's a very good, good movie. One of those movies that you definitely need to watch. It's amazing. I love this movie. It's a everything. It's a good black love movie. For real, for real. Like, <laughs> on so many levels, it's a good black love movie. So, yeah, you need to check it out. I can't even give you any other sneak peeks besides the synopsis that I already gave you. It's amazing. But it's deep and it's real. You know what I'm saying? So, if you haven't seen Jason's Lyric, go ahead, check it out. It is a mad, mad, dope black love movie. Dope. Check it out. Coming in number four. Number four goes to Beyond the Lights. Picture is going to pop up over here. This movie dropped in 2014 and it's a romance drama. Brief synopsis on this movie. Though she's been groomed for stardom all her life by an overbearing mother, singer Noni is having trouble dealing with her success. Feeling unable to cope any longer, Noni tries to kill herself, but luckily, Kaz, who was played by Nate Parker, the police officer assigned to be her bodyguard, stops her suicide attempt. And so Noni and Kaz feel an instant attraction, but those in their orbit oppose the romance for fear the pair will stray from the course planned out for both of them. I seen this movie when it first dropped in 2014. I do remember that it was actually a good, good black love movie, so that is why I made it on this list. It's a very good movie. It's been a long time since I've seen it. I'm definitely gonna have to rewatch it. But from what I recall, it was an amazing, amazing movie. A serious movie. Obviously, just from the synopsis, you know, it's on dealing with some real life ish, you feel me? So it's a real deal, real life movie, you feel me? Touching on some touchy subjects, obviously. But overall, it is still a good black love movie. Big shout out to Nate Parker. Y'all already know, it's with him, you feel me? If you haven't seen it, you need to check it out. It's a very good black love movie. Check it out. Coming in number three, number three goes to Brown Sugar. Picture is gonna pop up over here. This movie dropped in 2002. So it's a romance drama, brief synopsis of the movie. Sydney, who is played by Sanaa Lathan, I love her, she's an amazing actress. And Dre, who is played by Tay Diggs, can attribute their friendship and the launch of their careers to one single childhood instant, witnessing the birth of hip hop on a New York street corner. Now some 15 years later, she is a revered music critic and he is a successful, though unfulfilled, music executive. Both of them come to realize that their true life passions will only be fulfilled by remembering what they learned that day on the corner. The Queen is in this movie also. Don't get me wrong, Sanaa Lathan is the main character, but the Queen is in this movie. I'm pretty sure most Def is in this movie also. But it is a dope, dope black love movie. If you haven't seen this movie, you need to check it out. Brown Sugar, it is everything. It is a dope black love movie. Funny, got drama, got everything. Check out this movie, it's mad, mad dope. Check it out. Coming in at number two. Number two goes to Love Jones. Picture is gonna pop up over here. This movie dropped in 1997. It is a romance comedy drama. I love this movie. It has been a long time since I've seen this movie. Luckily, I'm pretty sure this movie is either on Netflix or Hulu right now. I'm definitely gonna check it out because it's been a long time since I've seen it, but I love this movie. Everything I remember about this movie, I love it. And it has two of my favorite actors in this movie, so absolutely, I, I love this movie. Brief synopsis of the movie, though. So Darius, who is played by Lorenz Tate, he's an aspiring writer. And Nina, who's played by Nia Long, she's an aspiring photographer. They share an instant connection after a chance meeting at a Chicago club. The two bond over music, photography, and poetry, and eventually begin a torrid romance. However, when Nina decides to move to New York and mend her relationship with her ex-fiance, it leaves Darius heartbroken and the couple's future in jeopardy. It is an amazing, amazing black love movie. If you haven't seen Love Jones, I don't know what you're doing. 
This movie dropped in 1997 and it's an amazing black love movie. You definitely need to check it out. You definitely need to watch it. It's amazing. I, I can't give anything away, not only because it's been a long time since I've seen the movie, but I'm just not. You have to check out this movie. It's a beautiful black love movie. Beautiful. It's everything. If you haven't seen Love Jones, check it out. And finally, last but not least, my top number one black love movie goes to Love and Basketball. Picture is going to pop up over here. I love this movie. I love this movie. I own this movie. It's everything. I love this movie. My wife loves this movie. It's just, it's everything. It's an amazing, amazing black love movie. You feel me? So it's a drama sport movie. Brief synopsis on the movie, just in case you haven't seen it. Once again, pictures are over here. Monica, who is played by Sanaa Lathan, and Quincy, who is played by Omar Epps, are two childhood friends who both aspire to be professional basketball players. Quincy, whose father plays for the Los Angeles Clippers, is a natural talent and born leader. Monica is ferociously competitive, but sometimes become overly emotional on the court. I can relate, kind, I can relate, I'm a sore loser. I ain't even gonna lie. When I play games and stuff, I'm playing against somebody. If I lose, I'm gonna be heated, I'm gonna be pissed. I, I talk trash, all of that. I don't like to lose, I don't like to lose. That's the Leo in me, I don't like to lose. So yeah, I can get that. But obviously if you're playing basketball, you're not supposed to be overly emotional on the court if you lose or miss a shot or whatever. I don't play obviously, so yeah. I don't have all of the lingo down packed. <laughs> I don't play in real life you know i play on the game but whatever so over the years the two begin to fall for each other but their separate paths to basketball stardom threatens to pull them apart i can't tell you any more than what the synopsis told you this movie is just it's just amazing like amazing i first watched this movie when it first came out and instantly fell in love with this movie i mean you're literally following two childhood friends that get together grow up still be together not be together it's just one of those black love movies that we needed the culture needed you feel me one of those that we needed we needed to see this i needed to see this growing up yes i just i can't speak any more highly of this movie than i already have it is amazing big shouts out to sanaa lathan she's an amazing actress big shouts out to omar epps he's an amazing actor I give the actors the love that they deserve you know what i'm saying they put out some mad dope movies all of these movies on this list just showcase so much black love and I love it. You feel me? I love, love, love it. It's so important to see black love, especially for our youth, you feel me? So important. We don't need to see all the ratchetness with love and hip hop and growing up hip hop and all of that ratchet TV all the time, you feel me? It's important to see black love, black strength, black power. You feel me? So this movie just, it did everything for me growing up watching this movie and just, it's everything. If you haven't seen Love and Basketball, I don't know what you're doing. It's an amazing, amazing movie. This is my number one black love movie of all time. I love Love and Basketball. Like I said, I own this movie. It's an amazing movie. If you haven't seen Love and Basketball, you need to check it out. Every movie on this list you need to check out, you feel me? Every movie on this list is mad amazing, mad dope. Just showcase so much black love and that's what we need to see on Valentine's Day. Nothing but black love. So that's what I'm giving you. A bunch of movies to check out, to share this black love on this amazing day of love. You feel me? All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed the list. I love every single movie on this list. I hope you check out every single movie on this list. Watch the movies. Much love to everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Black History Month once again. Black Lives Matter, always. Wishing you nothing but love on this day. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Happy Black History Month, day, year. Black Lives Matter. Hey right, nuns, that's gonna wrap up this video. If this is your first time tuning in, go ahead, join the squad, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop. Got videos coming at you every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Vibe with the truth. Hey right, nuns, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. You vibing with the truth? Go ahead, subscribe to this channel. Till next time. Peace. Please, 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 please.